and welcome everyone. So, I just come out of the shower and because my hair is completely in love with my face, I'll just do this. There you go. And yes, the second nose is coming on quite nicely. I don't quite know what's going on here, but hopefully it will so resolve itself. Uh, I hope you can forgive me for the look. We're joined here today by the little one. Uh, she's playing with her dollhouse and hugging my arm as we speak. Um, so, this is a review, but before we get to the brush, brush review, uh, we'll be looking into a treat update on this blade. This is the carbon steel blade, the black one, and it looks like this. Now, I don't know if it will pick up... Uh, Something tinny over here, see? Slight different color. Other side, very much here. And it's exactly what a lot of you said would happen. Hans, I tried it, it rusted. <laughs> and mine rusted as well. So I will not be using this. I will not be rebuying these treat carbon steel blades. It shaved great, a um, bit tuggy at the beginning, uh, but then smoothed out. So it would be fine for, uh, you know, just one use. So this is a 10 pack, so nine shaves more to go. Just info. There's another treat blade that I haven't done, but I would prefer to use my Asta Blue second use and to use that up and get rid of that as well. Usually Asta Blues. Uh, as you know, they're not that sharp, uh, and they tend to talk very quickly, and therefore I only use them once, twice, perhaps three times, but that's a max. Now, product for today, Master Soap Creations with menthol in it. Spearmint menthol, and frosted spearmint, sorry. Spearmint with menthol, that's exactly what you get when you open the puck. You don't need a lot of product. It's a great scent. It's fresh. The sun is up. It's about, and sometimes that might interfere with the shaving quality and review. I'll just have to move you a tiny bit there. Using the marching splash as well. And you can get both sets at the wet shaving store. <laughs> um, fairly priced, great products. Pre-shave, just to add to the menthol feel, because I'm, I'm missing menthol now. Prato green. Now. Oh, and the bowl. The Rooney yarns, the room bowl, the signature bowl. Great bowl, this. Great ceramic bowl, beautiful blue color. I love it. My favorite bowl. Here you have it. The amber arrow lights. See you there. 24 millimeter synthetic brush. Sturgeon synth it's called and it comes with an entire backstory at the back great presentation the logo at the bottom and their logo here this is the shaving brush logo i think that they, they usually use and when you open it up there is the cube uh, and it says here brace yourself for epic check out the allen block dry dock and over here it says, and don't forget the cube. Great presentation. I'll be keeping it in this because it's a quite huge, huge brush. And look at this. It's absolutely amazing colors. Put the box to the side. Now, Backbone test. How to test a shaving brush backbone, at very least the synthetic. I do it, if I'm not lowering up, just to be sure. I, I tap it and see how bouncy it is. See? Bounces a lot. And I would compare it to this one, a yaki. And this is the brush that I have with the least backbone. It might not pick up, but it's just, this is actually more buffing uh, than this one. Slightly more. So this should have a little bit more backbone 
and this one. This one does a great job with any kind of soap, regardless. Now for a Yaki brush with the most backbone that I have, it's this one. Hardly in a jiggle. So we'll use the Yaki Blue Heavyweight. It says it's not that heavy. Three piece razor uh, with the logo at the bottom. Let's get to the lather now. It's been like 30 minutes already. So let's get to the lather and get to the shave. So we're back and just to give you some comparison, this is in my opinion sort of a standard size brush, 24 millimeter knot, and this is the Amber Aerolite next to it. And it doesn't seem, well now it's it's soapy and it's sort of um, gathered and more combined, but with soap in it, it looks even slightly bigger than a 24 millimeter knot. So it does appear to be more than 24 millimeter, even though it is advertised as one. Pre-shave is on. And we will um, start, and this is a nice long handle. Uh, hardly got any soap on it when doing the lava. We'll see, the Mueller is away, it's broke. Uh, unfortunately, hopefully I'll, I'll fix it for the next shave. So here we'll go. And we will add water. Look on the coverage on my face. It covers the entire cheek just by its play. Soft bristles. Um, back one more. Um, backbone wise. Um, it's not powerful. It's not a strong backbone, um, but as you could tell by the lather, it did what it should. It got the job done. So we'll be dipping the brush in water and adding it. Look on the splay still. handle it reminds me of a, a larger uh, size of the yucky uh, mocha brush adding more water now I like to boil lather because the soap and I'll tell you why <laughs> Uh, regardless if you've asked me or not. Now, I'm fitting this out as we go, even though it, it, it will end up being more pasty than you would perhaps prefer it. It's mentholated, bang, right on your face. Great menthol. Also the Parasa Green does its job at, at adding to that and pre-pairing the beard for it. Shave. Now, if I were to add too much water I would go back to the bowl see I wouldn't have to cope with the mess of making more of those starting anew or anything like that because the lot that I have in my bowl is slightly pastier so if I accidentally add too much water I'll just go back to the to the bowl and that will, will hopefully, in theory, even it up. So, first pass with the grain. How are you doing, everyone? Hope you are well. Now 
Very nice. And slickness. Water on. See? No issues at all. Even against you. No issue. Great slickness. The soap. I think currently last time I looked you could get it at the wet shaving store for about between 15 to 20 dollars soap and then 15 to 20 dollars with the splash as well if you do happen to go go check out the link in the description it'll take you straight there Three days of growth, by the way, and the Yatsta Blue is doing quite well. Second application. We'll dip it under the tap, cool water. See here. Mmm. And watch, watch out for your eyes when you're using this brush because it does have a lot of coverage. Nice. Good. Any um, purchasing coming up on your part? Thank you. Um, gets the grain. I do have a plan on getting some more Phoenix products. Um, my wife, you have enough soaps. You should use the ones you have. And uh, <laughs> she's not wrong. Uh, but you know how it is. You know how it is. I'll get more. Just in secret. Nah, and I did tell her, yeah, you know, you're telling me to stop. But you also know I'm not gonna. <laughs> and she said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and you know I'm right. You should stop. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I have enough sips, but I'm buying it for you. For you lot. That's my excuse. You guys. So, <laughs> you better not go anywhere. Uh, I'll not have any excuses for buying new products. So if there was some money up, yeah, I knew, I knew the last <laughs> um, PAA scent that I really wanted to try out, and um, they have this plastic scuttle. I want to try that out, you know. I've got three different shapes planned with that already. Right, that's it. I'm done. I'll do a face wash and I'll see you at the post shave. So, welcome back, that was nice, refreshing. Did get a weeper there. It looks like I don't have any beard right in the middle, it's just because they're see-through and they're light. So, before we put on the aftershave or the matching splash, we'll go through what we used. We used, as a pre-shave, Parasol Green. As you know, did quite fine. The Yankee Blue Heavyweight, this is called um, the Scalped Handle, the Scalped, sorry, um, Head. Slight bit of overhang, very slightly, perhaps you could tell. Yeah, very slightly. Asta Blue, second use, did great. 
we must up there. Um, Master Soup Creations. If you want to pick them up, click the link in the description. It'll take you to the wet shaving store. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a bit of fun, really. Um, and you can pick it up. Or any other Master Soup Creation product. Now, star of the show and the reveal. Re reveal. Get a grip. The review of this. Yeah, I know. Uh, what's this? The Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Phantom. No. Amper Aerolite. Um, 24 millimeter. It seems the knot is bigger than 24 millimeter. It barely displays like almost a 26 millimeter knot. It did great, backbone wise. Not much to write home about, really. Um, it's a bit weak, uh, but as you could hopefully tell from that, it didn't have an issue lathering at all. So you know, it's just how if, if what you prefer, really. The ball. Rune, yarns, rune bowl, um, and there is some soap left, and if you activate this with some water, and there would be for that, those are two passes and a face wash, and there would be more soap seeds gathered up nicely here, for a perhaps a third, fourth pass even, once it's activated with some, some nice water. Now, this is mentholated. This is highly mentholated. It says give a good shake and we will do so and it will almost give a burn. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the video. Those of you who are already subscribed and keep watching my videos, I appreciate that very much and thank you. Thank you a lot. Now I will put this on and I am going to say all these things before putting it on because once I have done that, um, not sure I'm going to be able to say that much because it is very very potent, potent, not at this, not immediately, but it comes after a few seconds. Very fresh scent, just matches the soap completely. So that's it everyone, the mental is coming now. So I'll be quick to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on Saturday. Woo! Stay safe and goodbye.